What else do you see? A lot of water. Mm -hmm. This so is beautiful. Beautiful. Describe this place for me. It just looks like it's dark. Mm -hmm. You know, a lot of stars. Mm -hmm. And then I ascended on to the, it's, I don't know if it's a planet or whatever. But mm -hmm. The water is so pretty. It's, I can see clear blue, it's sparkling. It's really pretty. Mm -hmm. Does this place look familiar? Not that I know of. Mm -hmm. Tell me what's around this place. All I see is just waterfalls, mm -hmm. small waterfalls, big waterfalls, and stars. The sky is filled with stars, mm -hmm. like a deep, dark blue. Beautiful. And where do you see yourself? I'm, I'm kind of hovering over the water. Mm -hmm. do like you I send it. Do you seem to have a body there? Yes. Mm -hmm. Tell me what your body looks like. Describe it for me. Do you feel like it's male or female? It's, it seems like I'm female. Mm -hmm. And my body is pale. Mm -hmm. The light peach. Mm -hmm. I can see I'm not human. Mm -hmm. So describe your features for me. My head. It has like an oblong shape. An oblong shape. Like make like, kind of like a huge football. Mm-hmm. Um, my hand, my fingertips are kind of like bubbles. Mm-hmm. How many fingers do you have? I can't tell. <laughs> I can just tell my fingertips are like mm -hmm. bubbled out. What else do you feel about your body? Um, I don't know. I'm just wearing some clothing, but it looks kind of torn and kind of weathered. Mm -hmm. Tell me more. What do you get from this place? Um, Do you live here? Not sure, but it's very relaxing and soothing. Mm -hmm. Because I love water and waterfalls, and it's very soothing. Mm -hmm. And the stars. Does it seem to be nighttime here? Mm, yeah, it's like nighttime. Mm -hmm. It's really like the deepest, darkest blue. The sky is not black, but it's like the darkest blue. Mm -hmm. Do you see anything? Celestial in the skies. No, I just see stars. Just stars, nothing else. Waterfalls. Mm -hmm. So let's see what happens next. I want you to land in this place and tell me where it is that you land. You see it land? Mm hmm. I've already been standing like on the ledge where there's a waterfall. Mm hmm. I'm just looking around. Let's see what you find. Let's do some exploring. Mm -hmm. Well, I can, I don't have wings, but I can fly. Okay. How does it feel to fly through this place? Um, I don't know. I don't, I don't feel a particular type of emotion mm -hmm. when I fly. Mm -hmm. It's just something you do? Yes. Mm -hmm. How far off the ground are you? I'd say about maybe, uh, like four or five feet, maybe. Mm -hmm. Just hovering above it. Yeah, all the waterfalls. There's so many. There's like waterfalls upon waterfalls. One waterfall leads to another waterfall. There's mm -hmm. tiny ones all the way to huge ones. They're all connected. Mm. It's very beautiful. Even though it's dark, it's beautiful. Yes. Can you see any reflection in the water? Any light reflecting in the water? Um, no, but... Um, the way I describe myself, I was able to see myself from like a different perspective. Mm -hmm. It was like I was looking at myself. Mm -hmm. What did you see? Um, just seeing the oblonged head shape. Um, mm -hmm. 
looked like my ears were oh weird like <laughs> they're like long and they go down the side of my body my mm -hmm. ears are there's something it's part of my head i don't know what mm -hmm. it is are they attached to your head they're attached to my head and they're they're long yeah they're, they're the same color as my flesh mm -hmm. and they're just on the side of me mm -hmm. do they move do they flap i don't know <laughs> they're just mm -hmm. there they're just like hanging over like you know just hanging down mm -hmm. what else did you notice that was interesting um that was it just my color um my belonged or my weird shaped head mm -hmm. do you have any any hair um it doesn't look like i do mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. what about your eyes what do you think your eyes look like mm -hmm. first impression um very dark mm -hmm. but because they're so dark you can see all the light reflecting off of them mm -hmm. how old do you feel hmm. what's the first thing that pops into your mind oh. say 27 mm -hmm. but I feel like uh, that's just maybe like how the body that I'm in but mm -hmm. I think that I'm hundreds mm -hmm. years old hundreds very good hundreds of years old so let's see let's go somewhere next I want you to close that scene and let's go to another mm -hmm. scene in that same lifetime when something is happening mm -hmm. allow yourself to close that and move ahead Mm-hmm. And tell me where you are. <sighs> what do you see or experience? Just moving forward in space. Mm-hmm. <sighs> tell me what you're feeling. Like there was a war going on or something. Mm-hmm. Describe that for me. Um, there's some type of beams in the sky mm -hmm. it's just going back and forth past my face mm -hmm. are you in something um, no, I'm just in my body traveling mm -hmm. traveling throughout space yes so where are these beams coming from can you they're coming in? from the left and the right I'm mm -hmm. trying to look and see but they're so far away mm -hmm. that you can only see like just the beams or mm -hmm. I don't know if they're like beams of light or shooting stars or something, but it seems like there's some type of war or battle going on. I don't mm -hmm. know. It just seems like it. And how do you feel? I'm just looking and mm -hmm. watching and observing. What emotions do you feel as you're watching this? When I was approaching it at first, I felt a little scared. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But now that I'm closer, you know, I'm just more of an observer. Okay. So let's keep going and see what happens. Get closer to it and tell me what you feel. Mm. See what happens next. Ooh, just observing, trying to get closer to it. Mm -hmm. You can fast forward the scene. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm on a planet now with a lot of sand. Mm -hmm. What color is this planet? It's like regular tan sand. Mm -hmm. Look around you. What does the sky look like? It, it's like regular sky, like blue. Mm -hmm. And what's on this planet besides sand? All I see is sand. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and how do you feel there? Um. I'm just observing. I'm not. I don't really have an emotion. Mm-hmm. Okay. Let's see what you find there. <sighs> okay. Let's move ahead and see what you see. I've seen a spaceship. Mm-hmm. What does it look like? It's like a dark, silverish gray. Mm-hmm. Mm. Where is this spaceship? Is it on the ground? Or it's in the sand. Mm-hmm. 
Mm. What shape is it in? <sighs> like a circle? Mm hmm. Do you think it's parked there or has it crashed there? Mm, it doesn't look crashed, but then again, I don't know. Mm hmm. Because I only see like one side of it. Mm hmm. So let's, it, let's get closer and see what's there. Allow yourself to get closer to it. Describe everything that happens. I'm walking around it. Mm hmm Trying to find an open thing. Mm hmm I see a blue light on it. Mm -hmm. Where is it? Um, it's like in the middle, but I'm trying to determine exactly where it's at. I'm just looking and observing. Mm -hmm. <sighs> trying to find a way in. Mm -hmm. Is it very big? Um, not 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 so. No. Mm -hmm. It's like maybe a personal ship, like a little small personal mm -hmm. ship. I want you to use your mind and connect. <sighs> with whatever being is in there. Just connect and I'll ask them to show you the way in. And tell me what happens. <sighs> I feel like there's someone in there, but I can't connect with them. Mm -hmm. But I know there's someone in there. I don't know if they're scared or mm -hmm. I don't know. Are they scared of you? I don't know. I think they're just scared, period. Mm -hmm. You know, I think of the unknown, I feel like they don't know what's out on the other side. So they're, yeah. they're very fearful. Okay. And I can see it's, it looks like a child. Mm -hmm. I can see through the spaceship now. Mm -hmm. I haven't gone in, but I can see through that. It's a child on their knees, and they're just sitting there, and they're just looking around, but they're fearful. Mm -hmm. When you say it looks like a child, is it, a, is it an actual child or a small person? Um, it looks like a child, it mm -hmm. looks like. Mm -hmm. And is this child alone, or does it have It someone? seems to be. I think they're the only person on their ship. Mm-hmm. Do you think that something happened to this child's parents? I don't know. I don't know. Let's find out more. See if you can connect with this child. Get the story. The parents sent him or her away. Mm -hmm. I don't know why, but sent I guess maybe they were scared and so they sent the child away mm -hmm. for protection mm -hmm. and maybe the ship landed or landed there or crashed there or, mm -hmm. and the child just doesn't know where they're at mm -hmm. they feel lost and alone and scared and I think they fear the unknown mm -hmm. what does he look like um I can't tell if it's a boy or a girl, but mm -hmm. um, their robe is like a white linen-ish with like mustard color, like um, line or uh, material within like, it. So it's a robe? Yeah. A it's white a robe. robe? Yeah, it looks like a linen color, mm -hmm. off-white, um, mustard colored um, lines in it. Uh, They look, it seems like they look human. I don't, I, mm -hmm. I don't think that they're anything other than human, but. Mm -hmm. Good. Do you feel that they're there to help this child? Um, what do you get? I don't know, I just, I just know that they are scared and lost and, mm -hmm. and they fear what's on the other side, out of the ship. Yes, yes. Because they know that they're far away from home. Right. Okay, so let's see what happens next. I want you to close that scene and let's go now to another significant scene in that lifetime.
Where are you? No, I'm just floating in space. Mm -hmm. I don't know if I'm in the same body as before, mm -hmm. but I'm just kind of floating in space. Mm -hmm. What do you see out there? Just stars. I don't even see any planets, just stars. Mm -hmm. I think I desire to see some type of planet, but I, maybe I want to get to something, but mm -hmm. I just see stars. Do you feel like you're traveling? <laughs> Or are you just there? It seems like I almost don't have full control over where I'm going. It's mm -hmm. like I'm just floating. Let's let's hone in and see if you have a body, any type of body. Do you feel that there's anything physical about you? Yeah, no, I look human. Mm hmm Male. Mm-hmm. Green robe. Mm-hmm gold detailing on it and this navy blue underneath like so maybe it's a double robe um i have some type of tattoo on my face mm -hmm. it's it's like um metallic gold mm -hmm. and it's like throughout my face i can't How does it look? Is it some sort of symbolic thing? Hmm. Or is it some sort of technology? I, it looks like just like a tattoo, mm -hmm. but it's gold. Okay. Like actual, like, looks like gold. Mm -hmm. And it's through, like, on my face. What um, kind of design do, does it have? It could be symbols or it could be, like, shapes. I don't know exactly. Mm-hmm. It's just, it seems like it, it may be another language, but nothing that I can make out. Okay. And what, where is it that you are? I'm still in space. Mm -hmm. Are you floating or are yeah. you in some sort of a ship? I don't have any control almost. I mean, I'm, I don't know. Mm -hmm. Like I'm on my back floating, mm -hmm. like. And you feel like you're being taken somewhere? <laughs> Maybe it's possible. Mm -hmm. Do you feel like you've been sent somewhere? Um, I don't know. Like you're traveling. So let's see where you go. I want you to fast forward this man's life and see yourself traveling to your destination. Be there now. Where do you land? Word that comes to mind is trapopatory. 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 And what is this place? Where is trapopatory? Describe it for me. Okay, I did land on a planet, but it looks deserted. Mm-hmm. So this planet is deserted? It looks as if I don't see people around. Mm-hmm. What's the planet look like? Oh, I see more metal mm -hmm. than natural resources. I'm just... Do you see structures? Yeah, they're like dark gray. Mm hmm Um, like, oh, it could possibly be a huge ship. Mm-hmm. Possibly. Okay. Because the area around it is uh, kind of like the other planet where it's sand. Mm-hmm. So you think that you may have landed on a ship? Possibly. Mm-hmm. It's a very large one? Very. Mm -hmm. Would it be the size of a planet? Just about. Okay. It's like it's taking up the majority of the planet. Okay. Mm -hmm. 
What else do you find on this metallic structure? Um, just, I'm just hanging on it, like I'm, so I won't fall. Hmm. I'm just hanging on it. So when I landed, I landed on the ship. Mm -hmm. I'm like holding on to some type of structure that is an extension of it mm -hmm. and I'm just hanging there just looking around being very um, ob just observing looking around mm -hmm. is this structure moving um no it's at a standstill okay so while you're hanging on it are you feeling like you're gonna fall uh not so much I got a pretty good grip on it mm-hmm I'm just trying to find out what's going on and where should I step next. Okay, so let's see what you do. Tell me what you do next. I kind of um, kick my leg up on a different structure and pull myself up. Mm -hmm. And I'm looking at the top, there's it's glass I can see inside. Mm -hmm. What do you see inside? I do see some life forms mm -hmm. there it's like they're in a ship you know they're controlling it they're and they're just you know just moving around and messing around with, i guess like dowels and the control center mm -hmm. what do these beings look like dark gray <laughs> um what would you describe them as um, they look like alien form. Mm -hmm. But alien in what way? Um, are they humanoid? Are they insectoid? They don't. They don't look human. They okay. look. But they're gray and they have like a body shape, but it's like you know, like super duper skinny in some areas. Mm -hmm. And some not. What does the head look like? Um, big. Um, what shape? the back of it is really exposed. The back is exposed? Yeah, it looks like it could be their brain. I don't know. Mm. But they have a glass part over that part. Mm -hmm. I guess for protection. And they're just moving around. I'm just watching and observing. Mm -hmm. Are they wearing any type of clothing? Um, This one silver piece, it just basically goes over their shoulder and drops down in the front, like to the bottom of the like, belly button. Mm-hmm. And it's weird, but nothing on their legs. Uh, not that I can see. No, mm -hmm. they don't what? have like weird. <laughs> Three toes. Mm hmm. They have three toes. Yeah, and their legs. Their knees bend the other way. Mm -hmm. They bend back. Well, they, no, I'm sorry. They bend the, the, the way that our knees bend, but it's like really like it's long. The zigzag mm. part of it is long. Mm -hmm. So it seems like, I don't know. Hmm. And what does the face look like? Um, Like at the front of their face, their eye, the, the eyes, um, there's a clear, like their, the back where their, I guess their brain is covered, mm -hmm. there's a glass shield over their eyes and like maybe to their nose, but then the rest of the part is exposed. Mm -hmm. So you can see the inside of their... Yeah, it's almost like you can see like the inside of their body or something mm -hmm. in certain parts. Mm -hmm. um, how many are there that you see? Well, the one that I'm looking at is just one. But there's, I don't know, it's the, ship, the ship is so huge and the whole room was filled with like, I don't know how many exactly. Mm -hmm. A lot of them? Yeah, I assume because it's a huge ship. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So tell me what happens next now that you've seen these beings. Where do you go now? <sighs> I'm trying to connect with the one I seen I was describing when I was up close. Mm -hmm. And he knows that I'm trying to connect with him. Mm -hmm. Do they seem friendly? I don't know. Mm -hmm. So let's see what happens. Tell me what happens. He 
he's not giving me much information. Mm -hmm. Not at all. See if you can connect with him telepathically. That's what I'm trying to do. Mm -hmm. <sighs> Ask him what this place is. His home. Mm -hmm. They destroyed his home. They destroyed so they, his home. So they had to live in the ship and they parked the ship on the planet temporarily. They don't know where they're going to live next. Their planet was destroyed. Who destroyed it? He says his father. His father destroyed the planet? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Because his father was part of a, another race, mm -hmm. and he sided with the other side and destroyed the planet. Hmm. What kind of race was his father? Can you have him give you a picture oh. of that? Oh. What did the father look like? Similar, but bigger. Mm -hmm. Bigger, but not a huge difference. Mm -hmm. And is the father alive? His father died in battle. Okay. Ask him if he is a, a warrior. Is he if, if he's also in battle? He says he's a cadet. A cadet. Mm -hmm. He left behind his wife and kids who died. On the planet? Yeah. Mm hmm Does the planet have a name? Uh, Ask him to spell it. Uh, Neptune. Neptune. That's the name of it? <laughs> yeah. Mm hmm But he says it's in a different dimension. Okay. Very good. What else does he say? They have to try to find a place to live. Mm -hmm. They can't breathe with a certain type of air. Mm -hmm. And they have to find a planet where they can breathe. So let's find out what happens. What happens next? use the restroom <laughs> okay all right look around you now you can see clear connect better understand where you are what do you see around you I'm back in the same spot mm -hmm. I want to help him mm -hmm. find a planet that they can live on mm-hmm I don't know how I can help. He tells me that I, he knows that I can help. Because mm -hmm. I've been a lot of places. Mm -hmm. Ask him if he knows you. If he knows about you and who you are. He said he said he read my DNA. Mm -hmm. <laughs> what else? What does your DNA say? Uh, that I travel. That you travel? Mm -hmm. Mm hmm Where do you travel to? All over. Mm hmm He said I, I've been so many places that I would know where they could reestablish. Mm -hmm. I don't know how I know, how I would know mm -hmm. where he could live. Mm -hmm. 
So now that he knows your DNA and he understands, ask him if he knows more about you, if he can tell you about him, about yourself. He says I'm a light traveler. Mm-hmm. And what is your job? He says I'm just an observer. Mm -hmm. I just go places and I observe mm -hmm. and I collect information and data. And he says just as I'm helping him now, I'll help others. Mm -hmm. He says I think that my job is boring mm. and that it has no meaning. <laughs> what do you think? How does that make you feel? Good. Mm-hmm. Makes me feel because I feel like what I do doesn't count. Mm-hmm. I think it's boring. You think your job is boring? And like I'm not doing anything effective. I'm not helping people. But he says, just by me traveling and collecting information and data, it's helpful because I'll be able to help him find a home. Mm -hmm. So he touches my shoulder. And it brings me comfort. And then he also, for my DNA, can tell where to go. Mm -hmm. Him and his his fam his people can go and then I helped him and then I leave mm -hmm. how does that make you feel knowing that you've helped somebody it makes me feel like I'm helping and doing something I'm a part of something bigger mm -hmm. because I always feel like I'm not mm -hmm. You feel like you're just wandering? Yeah, I feel like I'm just wandering places mm -hmm. and not doing anything effective. Mm -hmm. But he says my DNA collects uh, so much information that it helps people. So let's see where you go to next. I want you to close that thing. And now let's go to another place in that lifetime when something significant happens. <sighs> Tell me where you are. Look around you. What do you see? What do you experience? I'm on a desolate planet. I'm not going to, it looks like planet Earth, but I'm not sure. Mm -hmm. It could be in a different dimension. Mm -hmm. I see a little girl on a tricycle riding by, but it looks like maybe war has happened there. Mm -hmm. And I'm just watching and observing. And I look at the damage that was done to the planet, mm -hmm. and it makes me sad. What's happened to the planet? Uh, maybe war has hit or something. It's desolate. It, it looks like uh, hardly any life is able to grow or be there. And this little girl, she looks lost. I don't know where she came from or... She's by herself? Yeah, she's on a tricycle, riding her tricycle. She looks maybe like two, maybe, or three. Mm -hmm. Look around and see what it looks like. Rubbish everywhere. Mm -hmm. um, no green. Just everything is dead. And I don't see. 
want you to ask what year you believe this is. Tell me the first year that pops into your mind. <gasps> 1734. Mm-hmm. That's the year that pops into your mind. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Very good. What else can you tell me from this place? Where do you go to now? <sighs> see if you can put, get information from this little girl. Connect <sighs> with her. See what happened. She said... Mm-hmm. What happened? She doesn't know where her mommy and daddy are. And I can feel her pain. She's just been wandering. I don't know how long. Mm-hmm. Can you see if there's any other life forms around? Any other people? I don't see anything when I looked around ever. I, I'm so focused on her mm -hmm. and her pain. And I'm asking her, well, how long have she been wondering where, where's her mommy and daddy? And she just looks at me and I know she doesn't know. She mm -hmm. doesn't know. But she looks checked out. She doesn't look like I don't know. Mm -hmm. Take a look at her clothing in the area around you. Can you tell if this is ancient time, present time, or future time? Look around. Use your other senses. The only way I can tell is her clothes because everything else is just, mm -hmm. there's no structures, no buildings, no. Mm -hmm. Her trice, I mean, it looks like, like maybe the 40s, mm -hmm. her, 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 her outfit, her dress is, must have been white, mm -hmm. but now it's dirty. It has pink ribbon uh, through lace that it's on the trim of her dress. Mm -hmm. Her shoes are white and they're dirty. Her socks are dirty. Mm -hmm. What does she She's, look like? Um, she's white with blonde hair, mm -hmm. um, dirty face, um, just looks like checked out, like sad and yes. like she was in shock or something. Okay. Let's see if we could find out what happened here. I want you to see if you were there to see what happened. I want you to zoom out. I see in random spots as I'm hovering over uh, fire, mm -hmm. but it looks like it's, you know, it's burned out, like it was bigger before. Yes. But just like died out fires, random spots. Just like every it, it whatever was there, it killed everything there. Mm -hmm. Like there's no grass, there's no trees, there's no nothing. What do you think caused these fires? Was it a natural occurrence? I think it's like nuclear. Mm-hmm. Can you get anything else from this scene? Okay, let's close it then. Let's move to another time and place. It could be that lifetime or another lifetime will give you the answers. See yourself floating through time and space. And tell me where you are. Um, I got a different body. Mm -hmm. What's your body look like? I'm huge. Mm -hmm. Like. 600 pounds, huge. Mm-hmm. Huge, like in fat or tall? Yes. Mm-hmm. Like a large woman, mm -hmm. it seems like. Mm-hmm. And I'm looking down at my body, and I'm so disgusted. 
and sad and depressed. Mm -hmm. What do you look like besides being huge? What are um, your facial features like? Caucasian and I hardly have any hair. Mm -hmm. It seems like it's fallen all out. I look very sad and depressed and I'm crying. Where are you physically? Like in a room, mm -hmm. in a house. Um, it's, 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 oh gosh. Tell me more. I see wood everywhere, like on the walls, the floor is wood. So the structure is like mainly wood. Mm -hmm. Do you feel that this is part of another place or are you in by yourself? <coughs> In this wooden structure, is it part of another house? Yeah. It looks like I'm just in a. All I can say is I'm in a room, mm -hmm. and most of the structure is wood. Okay. It must be a house. I don't think it's an actual like a building. Mm -hmm. And what name comes to mind? Sarah. Mm -hmm. If I said the name Sarah, does that resonate with you? Mm -hmm. No. Mm -hmm. Let's see how you got yourself into this room. I want you to go back in time to see before you were in this room when you didn't weigh this much. Let's find out what happened. Go back. Be there now. Where are you? Walking down the street. Mm -hmm. So pretty. Mm -hmm. And slim. And I'm walking by and all the men are whistling at me. Mm -hmm. Because they think I'm gorgeous. How are you dressed? Um, just nice clothes, nothing provocative or anything, just um, Are these it, modern it, times? It may look, it, it looks kind of western, mm -hmm. maybe. Mm -hmm. How are you dressed? Like, I see a lot of lace on my dress. Mm -hmm. The light blue dress. Mm -hmm. Are these ancient times or I, modern times? It looks like it's ancient, but I don't know because I don't know. Mm -hmm. Do you see any vehicles in the streets? No. Mm -hmm. Any animals in the street? No? No, just people walking around. Mm -hmm. How are they dressed? Like, kind of like Western. Mm -hmm. You see women there? No, not, no. I just, you're, you're the only woman? I see, right now, I see men. And I see people walking around, but I can't make out if they're mm -hmm. women or men. Or, I don't know. Mm -hmm. Let's see where you go. Allow yourself to take you to the destination where you're going to. I'm walking to my house. Mm -hmm. What does it look like? Like the room that I was first in. Mm -hmm. So. That's my home. Mm -hmm. And what's happening there? I'm walking in, I'm happy, I'm just going about my day, just, mm -hmm. just I hang my coat, my, something up, like a hat or something, and I step by the, past the door, and I just go to do my normal day-to-day. -day. Mm -hmm. Which is so, what? What do you usually do? Um, mm. 
don't know. Mm -hmm. I'm just happy. I'm, You're happy. I'm happy. How I'm, old do you feel there? Maybe 30, 32. Okay. So let's close the scene and let's go to another time in that lifetime that caused you to g gain weight. Tell me what's happening. I was with someone. Mm -hmm. What happened? They treated me bad. Mm -hmm. What did he do? Uh, a lot of verbal abuse. Mm -hmm. it made me feel like I was nothing. Who is this person? I, I don't know. It was a man I was with. Mm -hmm. Was he your husband? I don't think so. I think we were just together. Mm -hmm. um, he treated me really bad, but I loved him so much. God, I loved him so much. Um, and then he ended up dying. Mm -hmm. And then everything started going downhill from there. How did it go downhill? What happened? I just, I didn't, I just was sad and depressed and didn't care about myself. And I just let myself go and I just ate for comfort. Mm -hmm. And I got really fat. And I was ashamed. Mm -hmm. What were you ashamed of? Being fat and being seen. Why did you do that to yourself? Because the food provided comfort, mm -hmm. it, filled, it filled the void. Mm -hmm. What is your name? Sarah. Mm -hmm. Sarah, I want you to look in your body. I want you to use your spiritual eyes and look inside. And tell me if you see anything that doesn't belong inside your body. Any shadows? Something with my heart. Mm-hmm. Let's take a look at your heart and see what's there. Some black shadow around it. Mm-hmm. Sarah, let me talk to that shadow. Allow that shadow to express itself. Feel it coming up, and as I push my hands on it, allow that expression to come through. Hello? The shadow? How long have you been there with Sarah? forever mm -hmm. who are you all the negative emotions mm -hmm. did she create you or did you attach to her attached mm -hmm. who were you before you were attached to Sarah a dark entity a dark entity did she ask for you what were you sent to her? Open door. Open door. What opened the door? She didn't love herself. Mm hmm So you took advantage of that? Yes. Mm hmm Did you ever have a potty? Did you ever inhabit a human body? No. Mm hmm So did you decide on your own to come to Sarah or were you sent there? I wanted to feed off of her. Feed off of her. So by feeding off of her, you were taking her energy? Yes. And so she needed to feed herself because she had no energy? Was that what happened? Yes. Mm-hmm. So what happens to you now? Are you still there? I just stay here. Mm -hmm. Well, this is something that we need to ask Sarah if she needs to have you there. Let me speak with Sarah. Sarah, do you realize that all of this sadness caused this entity to feed off of you? 
No. Well, it did. It used you as food for itself. Your sadness was its food. You were feeding it with your sadness. Do you want to continue feeding this dark energy? No. All right. Now this dark energy cannot feed off of you if you have light inside of you. If you have happiness inside of you. Are you willing to give up all of that sadness? Yes. All right. So I want you to look inside of you, Sarah, and there's a bright light that is where you're from. This is what created you. I want you to find that light inside of you. And I want you to fill your entire body with that light. Fill it to where it's so bright you can hardly look at it. And as you fill it with light, I want you to fill it with love. You know what love feels like. Yes. Fill it with love and joy. And as you raise the vibration, you no longer feed that darkness. And I want you to continue doing that while I speak to this darkness. Yes. Dark one. Mm. How do you feel now that Sarah has filled herself with light? Dizzy. Mm-hmm. You can't live in that vibration, can you? No. Would you like me to help you, uh, dark one? Uh, I want you to look inside of yourself. You too are from this light. Find that light within yourself. You want to be able to stabilize you. Can you find the light within yourself? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I want you to expand that light. Have it fill all of your essence. And as you fill yourself with light, you'll find that you'll be balanced. Tell me how you feel. The shakiness is going away. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So I'm going to ask my angels of the light to come surround you and encapsulate you and have you fill filled with more light. Are you ready to leave Sarah now? You can't feed off of her anymore. Yes. Mm -hmm. Let me ask Sarah. Sarah, are you ready to break the contract with this entity? Yes. All right. Are you ready to love yourself again? Yes. All right. Go ahead and break that contract. Tell the entity you no longer will feed it with your sorrow. I no longer want to feed you with my sorrow and mm -hmm. pain. Break that contract. Tell him he's fired. Tell him that. You're fired. Mm hmm. And tell me what happens to him, Sarah. Where does he go? What do you see? Nothing on the Mm hmm. I'm vibrating. Very good. You vibrating higher now? More. I don't know. Oh, man. How does it feel? Left, right, up. Mm hmm. The left, right? Left, right, vibrating, left, right, up. Mm hmm. In an up motion. All right. So do you feel yourself lifting? I feel myself, yeah. Mm hmm. Vibrating, left to right, up. Mm hmm. So tell me where you go next. <sighs> can't stop vibrating. That's okay. <sighs> Vibration is all we are. Tell me where you go next. What happens now? What do you see? Nothing. Good. Do I have permission to speak? with Julie's higher self. Yeah. Thank you very much. I know that you could have shown Julie many different lifetimes today. Why did you show her this one? This wandering fellow. Because 
I've already showed her what she does. Mm -hmm. She collects information? That too. Mm -hmm. What else did you show her? I've already showed her um, that she, she's a wanderer, she's a traveler. Mm -hmm. She collects info, she helps people. Mm -hmm. So she's doing the same thing in this lifetime? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Why did she choose to be here in this lifetime? What's the purpose? Mm -hmm. Her mission is to heal. To heal? How does she heal? What's her superpower? Emotional healing. Emotional Inner healing. Mm -hmm. Is she doing that now? Is she healing? Is she doing the healing of other people? Yes. Okay. Has she had a lifetime as a human before? Or is this the first time? In any life that she's had or will have or has, mm -hmm. She's always healed people and helped people. She's always healed and helped people. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So why did she hear the call to be a human now at this time? What is she supposed to be doing in this lifetime? Anything special? Inner healing. Mm hmm What is she supposed to master? Self-love. Self-love. How is she doing as far as self-love is concerned? She's doing good. She is? What does she do need to do more of? Meditate. I have a question about that. How is she supposed to be meditating? Quiet down. Mm-hmm. Well, she spends a lot of time in her room. But while she's in her room, she's doing stuff. She's watching TV, YouTube, things like that. What would you like her to be doing? It's okay for now. She's preparing herself, gathering information mm -hmm. to help others. Mm -hmm. She's a collector. She's a gatherer, a wanderer. Mm -hmm. So she gathers a lot. Okay. And then she never knows what, when and what she gathers, who she might help. I see. I see. So that's really why she's doing that. She's collecting information. Yes. Okay. It's almost like her own education. Yes. Okay. She doesn't need to go to school. Uh-huh. Should she go back to school to be a life coach or marital, premarital counseling? I mean, she could to, if she wanted to, to meet people yeah. and interact with people. Mm -hmm. But everything that she needs is already there inside her. She doesn't need to go to someone else to learn it. Okay. Which one would be best for her to do? Either way she goes, it'll help her. It'll work out. It'll, it'll work out. Mm -hmm. Very good. What's the best um, way to, I guess, um, well, we already, we already talked about that. She meditates and she feels most, company, most comfortable when she's in her own company. Is this because she's learning? Yes. Okay. What can she do to really spend time with her daughters while she's learning? How can she connect better with them? Incorporate them. Incorporate them into the studies? Yes. Okay, good. Are they supposed to be learning too? Yeah, but on a very small scale. Okay. All that she's learning is a lot. It would be too much. Okay, for, for the girls? 
to comprehend. Okay. Okay. What's this pull towards Hawaii all about? It's a significant trip if mm -hmm. she goes. Mm -hmm. It is a spiritual trip. It's a spiritual Should she move there? Not necessarily. Okay. So she's being drawn to Maui for some reason? Okay. Good. Is this something she should do alone or with the girls? If they want to go, mm -hmm. she can let them know what it's about. Yes. And if they want to go, then yes. Mm -hmm. But other than that, she should go alone. Okay, good. Would you tell her about her diet? She's been eating a lot of dairy lately. Mm -hmm. She shouldn't. So get off of the dairy? Too much cheese? Yeah, dairy's not good for her. Mm hmm What would you recommend that she replaces it with? She had a good start when she changed her diet. Go back to that stricter mm -hmm. diet. Um, fruits, veggies. How about meat? She doesn't. Does she need it? She doesn't need it. Because she's already always cared a higher, high vibration. Mm -hmm. she, but it does help. She doesn't eat it. Mm hmm it's easier to do what she's been sent here to do. Okay. So more fruits and veggies and less dairy. Yeah, she's she knows what diet she she knows what diet she had started off with when she started exercising. Okay. That's Go the back to that diet. That's the optimal diet. Yeah, that that's good. Okay, good. Why is she drawn to more male energy than female energy? <sighs> contrast. Contrast. She's so drawn to contrast. Mm hmm That's why... She works well, better with contrast okay Which opposites is with the opposite so with males that would be the opposite that in mm, uh, gifts mm -hmm. someone who compliments her gifts okay so someone who doesn't have what she has yes okay she's drawn to that mm -hmm. well it helps her obviously with getting information also it's another source of information or yeah it creates balance and mm -hmm. for her mm -hmm. the relationship she's been in they create they were her opposites they created balance and she loves that mm -hmm. most people don't like that contrast but she she loves it and people don't her partners don't see it that way they think it's uh, a lot of static mm -hmm. but she knows it's if they can come to a common ground it's beautiful excellent excellent is should she expect a twin flame or is she supposed to do this on her own
She's been yearning for one. She wants to know if she's going to be getting one. I know. Mm. What are you telling her? She was a wanderer by herself before. Is she still a wanderer by herself in this lifetime? Yeah, she feels alone. Mm -hmm. She definitely feels alone all the time. Mm -hmm. Is she missing something? Yeah, she mm -hmm. had twin flame, her mate. Mm -hmm. Where is that mate? She knows who it is. Mm -hmm. But they both chose not not to. Not to be together in this lifetime. Yeah. I don't know, they just chose not to be together. Okay. She's they met him. She they has. know they know that they are mm -hmm. twin flames and he can't keep up with the call. Okay. It's overwhelming. And she's seen his demons that mm -hmm. he's dealing with, his shadows. Mm hmm And she knows that if she's with him that she would have to deal with his shadow. Mm-hmm. And she doesn't know if she wants to do that because she's done that in the past and doesn't she doesn't she's not sure if she has the energy for it. Mm hmm Is this the same one that was in the life of Sarah that died? No. No. He's different. Okay. This one. It's different. Mm-hmm. Okay. So right now she's not meant to have a partner? Don't know. Okay. How do we get her to not feel so much longing? How do we teach her detachment? Can you look at her heart and see if we can do some healing there? Put some love in there. No, she knows how to heal herself. She's okay. done it. So many times. So okay. That's her gift. and So she can do it on her own? Yeah. She okay. Can, she knows how to heal. Good, good. Why is it that she can't smoke cannabis? Don't know why she wants to. <laughs> it's, it's silly. Mm -hmm. She doesn't need it. Mm -hmm. It's for people who... Sad, mm -hmm. sorrowful people. Mm -hmm. She's not sad, sorrowful. So she doesn't need that. She doesn't need it. Okay. What about alcohol? Is it okay for her to drink alcohol? She says that it numbs her. Yeah. She feel like she needs to drink that 
He doesn't need to go out anyway. Mm hmm. Don't go out. Don't go out. Does it need to be around that type of people? In that scene? Yeah, we, she gives her protection when she need, when she needs it. Mm hmm You know, when she goes to work and but she doesn't need to go out at night mm -hmm. or hang out or on the weekend. She doesn't need to, she doesn't do it often, but she doesn't need to do it. Okay. Don't go out. Okay, good. Um, what was taking place at that spiritual place at, in California a few years back? What was going on there? Mm, a lot. Mm -hmm. A whole lot. A whole lot good or a whole lot bad? A whole lot bad. Mm -hmm. So why did she even go there? Was she just gathering information again? Yeah, she, <laughs> she's always getting herself into stuff, but she... <laughs> why did she have that experience? those dark moments those places that she goes or experiences she has to go through them she, it just reveals who she is mm -hmm. what she's capable of so she's discovering self when she's in these these suppressive suppressive situations mm -hmm. or oppressive states or Whenever she goes through these dark moments, it only just uncovers who she is mm -hmm. and what she's capable of. Okay, good. So nothing's by accident. No. Are there any loved ones that want to connect with her? In particular, Irene and Paul, are they, are they guiding her? I feel like they're around her. They help her. Mm -hmm. I'm not sure if they want to connect. When you said that I've seen a bright light. Mm -hmm. So I believe that they're there. But mm -hmm. she doesn't need. She doesn't need to connect. She with doesn't them. need to connect. Just know that they're guiding her. They're, they're there they're with her. They're there. Okay, good. Would you do a body scan on her, please? And tell her what you find she's suffering from pain right in her left lower back mm -hmm. what's causing that Ooh. unforgiveness unforgiveness who is she not forgiving what's resonating with me is her mom her mom she hasn't forgiven her mom? She did, but she needs to forgive her more. Mm-hmm. Is she ready to do that now? What do they need to work out? Her mom is inconsiderate, mm -hmm. very inconsiderate. Mm -hmm. Would you allow me to connect with her mom now so we can talk and have a conversation? Allow me to connect with her higher self? mom's going through some stuff mm -hmm. and she's trying to sort through her stuff as well mm -hmm. so she just so needs would, to be patient okay would her. you would you work on her lower back now yeah knowing that that's what it is that she needs to forgive her yeah okay what would what are you using Tell Julie what you're using on her back. Uh, 
Are you using any type of light or energy on there? Mm -hmm. Just energy to force it out. Mm -hmm. Why is it not leaving? Does that energy have any consciousness? Mm. I think because she knows that it's a process. Mm -hmm. It's either, sometimes forgiveness is either you have to forgive people and then sometimes when you live with people or you have to see them daily, it's a process, a continual thing. Mm -hmm. And this is what she has to learn. That's why her, her, her children's father, she, she had to kind of learn it with him. Mm -hmm. So she has to learn how to f forgive, but forgive continuously. Okay. Even when she has to still deal with that person. Okay. Because that's true, unconditional love. It's like testing her boundaries and stretching her. Mm -hmm. And accepting people exactly how they are. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean, she does, but when she is experiencing something that is a ef direct effect from that person, either doing something or not doing something, then that's when it comes back up and she has to learn how to, when that comes up, to forgive again and keep forgiving every time that comes up. Okay. Okay. So how does her back feel now? It's subsiding. Okay. It's still there. It's All subsiding. Right. Okay, if you could keep putting some light on there. And I'd like to request the Archangels also to assist her, especially Archangel Raphael. If you can focus his beautiful loving light on that back area. Allow his energy to take care of that issue. Is she letting go of it? tied to something. Let's see what it's tied to. What's it tied to? Doubt and resentment. Mm. Is it possible to speak to that energy? Or is this something that Julie has to work out? Would the light allow me to take some of that from her? See if it helps. Yes. All right. Thank you. Julie, I'm going to put my hand on your chest. I want you to give me all of those doubts, all those resentments, all of those feelings that you felt for so many years since you were little of not being nurtured, of being abandoned, of not having your mom there when you needed her, of always feeling less than. Give me all of those feelings, doubting who you are, doubting people's love, be all of that because resentment doesn't hurt the other person it hurts you so give it all to me so I take it to the universe for healing and tell me when I've got it all I want you to pull it out of every cell of your body tell me when I have it you have it all right I'm taking I'm going to send it up to the universe for healing I want you to feel yourself that vacant space and let's fill it with something that's going to be more positive and productive for you. What would you like to fill that with? Unconditional oh, love. Let's put unconditional love in there. Feel it going in like a fire hose of love. Feel it coming in from the divine, filling every space. Oh. Feel it every space. 
filling you, every cell in your body, with that beautiful vibration of the divine. Feel it coming in. Feel it, it's all of that discomfort subsiding as the light comes in. And let's feel that. How does that feel? Mm -hmm. Is there anything else you'd like to add to it? We're good, all right. Let me speak with the higher self then. How did that help her? Well, she let go of some things. Mm -hmm. Can we continue working on that while she sleeps? Yes. Okay, so I'd like while she sleeps to have her connect with you, the higher self and her guides, the archangels and all of those ascended masters that help her and have her consult with them and have them help her while she sleeps. Is that okay? Sure. Mm -hmm. Did you find anything else in her body that needs fixing today? Just in her back. Mm -hmm. So you're going to continue working on that? Very good. Is there anything that you would like to tell her that we haven't discussed yet today? Anything else? Any message for her? For anybody else? I think she's on the right track. She's on the right track. Very good. Yes. Very good. What was the reason you brought her here today? She doubts a lot. Mm hmm Is this going to help her? With the doubting? It will, but... She's learning how to... Let her intuition be her, mm -hmm. her guide. Okay. It's getting stronger and stronger, so... Mm hmm I don't know why she doubts. It never has failed her. <laughs> mm -hmm. Can you do me a favor and open up her pineal gland a little bit more so that she feels more connected and is able to help other people? Sure. With her intuition? Sure. Mm -hmm. And would you check her chakras and see if there's any that need balancing today? In particular, the heart or the root chakra? Let, let her know which one. Solar plexus? Mm -hmm. The solar plexus? Mm -hmm. What's going on there? It's out of balance? It's off whack. Okay. Yeah. So could you work on that today? Sure. Mm -hmm. And also check her aura to make sure there's no leaks in her aura. Nothing coming in. No energy being taken out. Let me know when you're done. Okay. Good. Wonderful. And just out of curiosity, when we first started this session, she felt very cold. She was vibrating a lot. What was causing that? Fearful. Mm -hmm. She's doing much better now. Yeah. Okay, good. Are we complete today? Yes. Wonderful. 
So I'd like to thank the higher self for all of the information it's given Julie today. How was it for you? Different. It was different, huh? The first you, part was weird. Weird. Very weird. I mean, you were traveling everywhere. Um, How'd the selenite do? Connected um, you, didn't it, it? It was cold at first. Now, now it's warm. Yeah. Now it's warm. Yeah. It is. It is. But I felt very connected to yeah. it. You were... Yeah. You went into trance very easily. Very Did easily. I? Yes. And now you know how to do it. You can actually do self hypnosis on your on yourself. Okay. Know that the breath is what's going to take you there. You've already okay. done it once. So hypnosis mm -hmm. is just like riding a bicycle. Once you know how, mm -hmm. you can do it very easily the next time. Okay. So when you feel the need to meditate, mm -hmm. all you have to do is the same thing that we did here. Find yourself in that beautiful bubble. Mm -hmm. And then just use your breath to take you there. Mm -hmm. And that's it. Yeah. And I think with meditation is going to help. Yeah, I think I've done it before. I just didn't, like you said, I just didn't know what it was that I, what I was doing. Yeah, yeah. You know? Now, I usually ask people if they would share this. I think this was a pretty personal one. Was it? What do you think? I don't know. I don't know. I'd be willing to share. You'd be willing help, to share if it helps someone. Mm -hmm. You mm -hmm. know. We could take out all the personal stuff. Was there personal yeah, stuff? Yeah, about your daughters. You don't want to put stuff in there about oh. about family members. Okay. Okay. Yeah. yeah. But your your journey was pretty. It was weird. <laughs> I was gonna say it was weird. <laughs> I didn't even think I was like a different being. It was weird. How did the ears look on that fellow? It was oh, like the ears were flapping or something. I don't, like, like then again, like we need an artist who can yeah, draw. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like the little, the, like these long things that are long. Really? Like, yeah. The ears it was, like, were it that looked, long? Like, yeah, it looked like it was part of the the body the 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 outfit i was wearing oh like God. it was just like off like just the ears were yeah the ears coming from my head wow it's like that's weird <laughs> and then there was the the things with the um things the on brain, the, head. The, yeah, brain. the brain the brain was showing like but but it was covered with glass and then their, their eyes and maybe because they were in the environment that they were in and they were trying to search for something where they didn't have to where have that, that covered yeah or something i don't know that was amazing that it was, was weird because i've had like open visions before of me traveling huh. so I, I mean i know exactly what you're talking about as far as like the meditation part i've traveled from a couple of different planets yes obviously you've been traveling a lot yeah and that's probably why I'm so curious, while I'm so, people are like, why do you always have to know? And it's like, because I'm, I, I, I just, I'm curious. You're like a database. I've always been like very inquisitive. You know, what was really interesting to me is how they read your data, your DNA. Yeah. And they I were believe just, that they can do and that. And they, they were able to just get the information right off of yeah. you. Like you were a, uh, like a, like a library mm -hmm. for them. Yeah. Because I had collected, you know how you see mm -hmm. those pictures yeah. of you know they have those things on different planets and they're just those little machines are just collecting information and artifacts i believe that's probably why i spend so much time collecting information <laughs> because somebody's going to need it along and the you way are using it already especially with your life coaching or yeah. just to help with the so is it worth it waiting yeah. Yeah, it's just it just all happened so fast. I'm still like in awe. So well, I'm, you, I'm gonna I'm gonna give you a paper here to read, but okay. um, you really need to see this recording, mm -hmm. absorb it because okay. as you watch it again or listen to it again, mm -hmm. more information is just going to be downloaded to you. Okay. So things that you weren't able to capture the first time, mm -hmm. you'll be able to capture now, oh. and it'll make sense. So okay. well, before you even watch it, set an intention as to you know what you want out of it okay. as you listen to it okay and you'll get the information okay. the next three days you're gonna be wide open okay. to your heart you know what your higher self sounds like now so you can mm. connect much easier I, i've been knowing it's your, it is your intuition mm -hmm. um i've been more stronger and very confident in in, in my higher self or my intuition yeah. than i was before mm. and i think the whole thing that started catapulted it is the the gratitude journey yeah you know not being caught up in so many different that's a things powerful powerful yeah. energy is gratitude yeah excellent so let me okay. disconnect you put the light on okay so we can say goodbye so here we are we just had a really 
interesting journey. That was interesting. <laughs> Very interesting. And she was floating around space gathering information. Mm -hmm. How did that feel? It was really cold while it was happening. Yeah, you were yeah. Like shaking the whole time. Yeah, I was shaking. It was really weird. And it wasn't shaking because of the temperature. It was shaking more like fear or, or what? I think because I don't know the experience, I guess. <laughs> well, you knew it then. I guess that was you. <laughs> but you had a really interesting journey. Now, we are here in Detroit, and uh, you haven't traveled far. You you came from where? Um, 30 minute drive. 30 minute drive. Yeah. Yeah, mine was a little longer. <laughs> and do you recommend this to, to everybody? Yes. What did you get from it? Um, confirmations. Yeah. You were looking for what? Clarity? More information? Yeah, just, you know how you just, like, well, maybe, or what if, but yeah. And you for know, now, for sure now. You know you're not from this place, that you are. I always felt like I was not from here. <laughs> Honestly, now that confirms it. That confirms it. Yes. <laughs> so if you would like a session uh, with me, not like this one, but with me, uh, you can go to my website, albawineman.com. And as you can see, I travel sometimes. Uh, so sign up to my mailing list so you can see where I'll be going to next. Until the next time. Bye. <laughs> right, give me a hug. Give me a hug. Oh, this is the best part. Uh.